The following critique is intended to provide members of the St. Catharines Camera Club with information to help improve their photography skills. Their critiques were done by several members of our club. This is a really strong, well done image. It is nice and sharp with great detail in the feathers. Background is blurred out nicely. The color of the berries is a nice complement for the color of the bird. One way to make it even better would be cropping slightly to lessen the empty space on the right. Again, a great image. Beautiful and colorful woman as subject. To improve the image, try a few more edits. For example, crop out the unnecessary scenery to tighten in around the girl and add a slight vignette so the eye is drawing to her even more. Also, the temperature is a little cool, so the maker may consider warming it up slightly. If you are using Lightroom, even just a little adjustment on temperature slider will really make a difference. This will also bring out the beautiful golds in the fabric. If you have this as a raw file and again using Lightroom, try adjusting the exposure on her face as it is in shadow. As a JPEG, it might not adjust as well. This image brings a story of renewal through the assumption that this cormorant is involved in nest building activities. The contrast of the bird with the background demonstrates good use of negative space. The overall image tends to be a little dark and reducing the shadows would result in recovering more detail in the dark areas within the under belly and tail. The image might be further enhanced by cropping so that the diagonal of the stick nesting material lines up with the top left corner of the image. Suggested editing makes this image a little stronger. It is unclear what the motivation for this image is. Was a photographer meaning to capture an altered reality image of coast-like air variations, or is it meant to depict a study in color contrast, or a compilation at sunset using time lapse that inadvertently captured strollers in the scene? None of the elements in this photo are focused, and it seems to lack clarity or purpose, at least to this viewer. This is an example of an image that needs a narrative from the photographer as to what was being attempted here. Without a clear understanding of the objective of the photographer, this image is not very strong. The message on the shirt is certainly confirmed by the look on the child's face and is therefore a well-captured moment of compliance with that theme. The image is clear and the subject well placed within the overall image. However, though the message is obvious, the image might have been better composed with the whole message visible. The child's face should have highlights adjusted with a curves adjustment in editing software to brighten the whites of the eyes, specular highlights, and to brighten skin tones generally. The image may have been improved further with an aperture setting producing a shallower depth of field, therefore muting the background and bringing a sharper focus 
to the child. This image is very strong. Great location in San Francisco with a lovely historical and colorful building. Unfortunately, it looks like it was taking a tough time of day to shoot when the light is too harsh. The maker should consider cropping out the white building on the left and cropping at the light pole on the right. Add some vignetting to soften the bright sky a bit and this would be a fun addition to a travelette. Note how in the modified picture that the color and lines become stronger center of interest with the hot spots reduced and with some cropping. This nicely sized and focused image demonstrates conformity with the rule of thirds both horizontally and vertically. However, that conformity results in minor symmetry issues that some viewers may find stressful. A minor shifting of the subject to the right may correct this with some minor cropping on three sides. The simplicity of the image keeps us focused on the subject and the singular subject element is posed within the breaking of turbulent water, adding an element of motion to the scene. Some minor adjustments increasing the contrast may help isolate the subject within the scene. This is a strong image. Awesome subject to photograph, sharp and well exposed. Eye contact with the subject increases interest to the viewer. A few shortcomings take away from the impact of this image. Cropping the left side would position the owl better. If possible to adjust the cropping on the right side so that the branch does not come out of the corner. Great stop action image, it's sharp and is in good detail. The fish suspended is a nice bonus. Good cropping and placement of subject. Toning down the elliptical white area in the background and the bird's beak would improve image. As would eliminating sticks on the top left and the bottom left. A nice record shot showing plumage and the bird shape and plumage. It's got sharp focus and good exposure. Background is too busy and distracting and takes away from the impact of this subject. The monotone treatment is effective. The framing of the buildings by the trees drives the eye to linger on the interesting architecture. The tonal range of the cluster of buildings needs expansion or more contrast. The white oval frame is too big and overwhelms the image. The intention of this image is to emphasize the beautiful twilight falling on the boat. It is a good idea. The development of the image however fails in that the treatment looks very artificial. Improve the presentation by allowing more light to come through into the excessively dark areas. 
the red and orange buoys with bright reflections are unreal and distracting. This is a confusing composition. There are at least three photographs here. One, the lit bridge. Two, the row of boats in the near field of view. And three, the lit shoreline at the far field in the upper left of the frame. To make this a string, strong image, the maker needs to choose one of the three subjects to dominate the viewer's attention. In fact, the maker can produce three versions of this image, each with a focus on one of the three areas. The monotone treatment in all cases will work well. Good image of a popular attraction. Great lighting and color. Nice use of leading lines to add impact. If top is cropped slightly, the horizon would be in a two-third line for better composition. Strong, easy to identify subject. Horizontal format suits the image. Subject is well placed, adding to the impact. Nice use of lighting, other than that the face is overexposed. This image could be improved by including the prey to be captured. The repetition of the helix works well. Also the transition from light to dark as the viewer travels from the outer to inner rings of the tubing gives the image some depth. However, it is hard to escape the dreary tones. The maker can improve the tonal range by increasing contrast or perhaps by applying a sepia or cyan type tone to create some visual impact. Good image with strong center of interest. Excellent use of side lighting to show drama. Good lighting and use of shape of trees. Crop to eliminate the bright sky or tone it down somewhat at the top right. Good lighting. Subject center of interest is a little weak. There is a lot of distracting clutter on the left side. Some foreground interest would add depth. Making image vertical would work better. <laughs> 